I'm Mark Tipple. I'm a documentary photographer. Uh, I've been working on this series called The Underwater Project for the past 18 months now. And it's basically a lifestyle series of how Australians react with the ocean. I've actually been trying to shoot this series for the last 10 years, but I didn't know how to actually go about shooting it. So this one day, because it was really small waves, I was shooting really small shore breaks. There was a lot of swimmers around and we were in the wrong place for where the wave was gonna break. Like it was a, a set wave, so it was breaking a bit further out. And we all dove under together and turned the camera onto them and fired off a quick 10, 15 photos. And that one series of photos was basically what I was trying to capture 10 years ago with how people are trying to escape the wave's interaction and the wave's power as they're just scrambling across the bottom of the ocean. Because I've grown up with the ocean my whole life, my dad was a surfer, my brother's a surfer, it's, it was so ingrained in my upbringing that the ocean is, is who I am, you know. I, I couldn't actually imagine a world without the ocean. Couldn't imagine my life being anywhere but three streets back from the beach. So I really wanted to show the ocean's dominance over us. It's like it's something that we're attracted to, but we can never harness the power of the ocean. We can surf it, we can be in a boat, we can have a, a luxury yacht, but the ocean can still dominate us. Throughout the series, shooting through summer and through winter, I noticed a really different feel. In summer, all the swimmers are in board shorts and bikinis. And it's a very playful feel, which is really interesting to me because the photos underwater and how we try to escape the wave's power can be so graphic and so, so emotive at the same time because we're interacting with this, this entity that could wipe us out at any second. So it's that kind of that progression and that journey from how we actually um, cope with the ocean is just really interesting to me. It's really strange, or well, it's really interesting to see in the same wave there can be three stages of emotions that come through. There's like a kind of anticipation to dive under the wave and then when the waves are on top of us and just completely thrashing us, there's like this, this struggle and this fight but then when you successfully dive under the wave and come up the other side, there's almost like a victory, like you've conquered the ocean for that one wave. <laughs> and then as you surface, there could be a, a, a wave ten times bigger coming. Because the original series is very contextless, it's just the photos and it's just the, the kind of struggle between the people in the ocean. I'm working on a, a new series of multimedia films about people who base their lives around the ocean just to give the ocean a human face so that when we're seeing this struggle we can actually kind of relate with what the ocean is. I want every photo that I take to have a lasting impact and to tell a story about something that I'm passionate in. If I can use the underwater series to tell a story about our relationship with the ocean and have that lead to positive change to the current mismanagement of the ocean then I'd be very happy. I still haven't taken the shot that I was trying to take 10 years ago. It's something that pushes me every time I go into the water and I still can't actually say what I was trying to shoot 10 years ago. It's just this thing, this idea that what I was shooting, what I have been shooting, isn't the optimal result. I don't think I actually want to get to that optimal result because then what will I do?